big news from Prime Minister Simon Eba Joko. <laughs> That's a very man you are hearing. He is here to tell us about it. Dear friends, I was shocked and I marvel at the revelation and exposition and the details of the Eberima. When people were calling him that thing, they were thinking they are insulting him. But what he's saying about the Eberima will even make people to stop calling him Eberima because he's actually choking people on their neck. Oh, choke go Nigeria government. Choke on the army. Choke on the DOS. Choke on the IPOP. Ochokuru, everybody, even the Igbo elders. Someone be choku go ha. I'm telling you, nobody knows what to do next. And na keep bazwa, he will have to lead out. So let's hear him. And I'll be right back. Remember that before, before the criminal and treacherous AGFO was sacked, I was the one. Sorry, I was the one who called. For his sacking because I busted him, and everybody was everybody was concerned. Why is he going? Why is he still in the team? Why is he still in the team? I told them, look, and they asked, why is the civilian? You whether is the, if the civilian can decide. I said, look, Mazinam the Kano is still alive. Not only that he's alive, he have the capacity to decide for himself, and so. Whether the siblings don't like or whether the siblings want, he is still the person who would decide. And that's exactly what happened. You know, when I start something, it takes time. That's one thing many people have not understood in this in this celebration. It is not like when I say there is not going to be checkpoint in Biafra land. A lot of people will think it is going to start tomorrow. No, don't worry. When I say a of 4 will be out, it is not something that will happen immediately. But that pronunciation has been made, and because his hand is soiled with evil and blood of our people. And Onyendu gradually understood that. So now the criminals have been left behind. They are not, they are not getting information again. You know, that was what they were accusing me before. They say, Yes, Ekperima is not getting yes. information yes. again. Yes. I accept the Ekperima. I am Ekperima. Ekperima in my place is a grass that is explosive grass so i accept it in my own language and my own dialect i am a perima and i remember in those days when we were very when we were very small we used to do what we what they call itutara itutara is the new yam festival the new yam iriji festival is what we call itutara in our place and during this time we will go to the bushes to get this ekberima we will get a perima, so you know, and he will get a perima. We we'll take it take us months to gather a perima. We we'll gather a perima, pack it and store it in Obaji. You know what they call Obaji, right? Obaji, yes, yes. The place of they keep G, the, the place yes, they keep yes. yam. Yeah, ban, of yam. Ban of yam. We will pack it in Obaji, cover it, and then after that we will begin to go for uh, this palm palm uh, tree. We will get the uh, yeah, yes. So, <laughs> so we go and look for igu, a yes. dried igu. Okay, yes. that dry igu is what we use to make fire. So we gather that igu. That igu will take us many weeks because that itutara have a day that you have to stay overnight to yes. celebrate the ekberima. We use the ekberima to celebrate the new yam. What these people don't understand is there is a connection between Unjoku and Ekberima. Unjoku is a deity, is a yam deity in Igbo land to some people. Yes. Why to some people it means a different thing. So now, this deity called Unjoku, people, we will go and gather enough of this ego, a dried one. It will take us, it will take us weeks to gather it. We gather it after gather it, we store it in Obaji as well. Then the night of this particular, uh, you know, uh, Iriji festival, festival yes. of this festival, we will not sleep. We will have overnight. Like it depends on your community how many uh, of this ekberima you have gathered. 
So we will be competing with other neighboring villages. Those who their sound of the perima is higher wins the region. <laughs> so in the night, from nine o'clock, when people have eaten and all that, I think from 12 o'clock or so, in the midnight, every child will gather in the square. And then we will, you know, when I'm telling this story, people would think it's something like 1800, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so we will gather in the mark in the village square, yes. set up the fire with this eagle, and the fire will be going up in flame, you know, and then the eagle will be packed somewhere beside us. So you will be having your own ekperima, you put it in the fire, the ekperima will, you know, the fire will burn that ekperima to a certain level. If you don't, if you are not very careful, it will explode in the fire, and that can bring injury to every other person very close to that fire. So you have to watch very well that the ekperima is, you know, is ready to go. Yes. So once it is ready, you take it out from the fire and then you run to the nearest uh, uh, stone or tree. You just hit it, but you hear the scene will make a very loud sound, like like a knockout or something. Boa! Yes. So, yes. you know, and so and the way we are going to the bushes to get this ekperima, you have to use eye, you know, a different eye to know which one is very, very good. Because it is not every ekperima that have yes. explosive, uh, you know, yes. sound. So you will, you know, if you are very experienced, you'll be able to gather those ones that will have a very good sound, a very loud sound. Mm -hmm. This is what they are calling me. And I accept it. Today, that ekperima is as explosive in my own dialect and in my own language. I accept it with my language that, yes, I'm ekperima, and I've ekperimalized all of them. I have bombarded them. I have exploded in their territory. The and all of them, there are no mm -hmm. more. The same thing, Unjoku, the deity, they don't understand what Unjoku means. My name yes. is Njoku. Some of them even use it to do program in the beginning. They say, oh, do you know what is Njoku? Njoku is a, is a shrine. Njoku is a shrine. One of them use it to make program. He don't understand what Njoku. I was named Njoku for a reason. So my brother, the thing is, issue of Onyendu, like I have said, let yes. us leave it because okay. I know exactly what is going on. And Onyendu okay. is more connected than anybody that is close to me. That is one thing I have to tell everybody. So Thank they are you. not getting information again. They have been starved of information. They don't know what is going on. I can be here now and tell you what happened to Onyendu yesterday. Thank but I don't you. want to go there. Thank the you. time for that time Thank is you. Not. Thank you. It's not, we are not going, we are not here to prove to anybody anything anymore. The yes. lawyers are doing their job. I've told this is what if they have been doing this from the beginning, I will never attack anybody. The lawyer's job is to do their legal job. Mm. why the Biafra struggle continues. They must not interfere in the struggle. They must focus on releasing Onyendu legally. Why we focus on dealing with Nigeria to, you know, give them enough pressure they need to release him. This is the way a teamwork should be. So, and now they have come to understand that. That's why when they mention Simon Ekpa, they immediately shun the person. Don't mention the name here because you don't True. go and start deviling into issues that are not connected. So please let us focus on the same, the way the, the way they have addressed me on that particular court hall. Don't mention my name the same way we are going to be dealing with. But Nigeria understand that what is happening today is as a result of the kidnap of Mazen Ambikan. Because if he's here, he will not handle Biafra the way I'm handling it, right? It's so true. if they if they release him, he will come back and continue the way he was doing it. But let me tell you whether he is, if they like they should continue to detain him. It will bring Biafra faster than everybody, anybody can imagine. Thank you. Thank you, my Prime Minister. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, support, support, support to Omni Quarter. Thank you, thank you, Prime Minister, for that uh, wonderful address. Uh, on, behalf, uh, on behalf of the European representatives, we are going to support the wonderful presentation with a thousand euros. Thank you very much, Prime Minister. Uh, <laughs> Repeat it, watch it again. <laughs> Repeat it. Yes, uh, yes, uh, thank you, my PM, for that uh, wonderful presentation. 
and uh, the European representative will support that uh, speech with a thousand euros. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 I have a question, but I want to drive something home. Prime, our Prime Minister, please permit me. If this question is uh, borders on the line which you don't want to answer, you can just uh, say no. But I want right. to ask this question because I want this question is helping me to uh, call the call on the, those who are still uh, with the criminal mind so they understand where they are. They're trying to put um, a kind of line between you and the mass. Nam the Kano, but we know that the, all these their tricks is no more working. You said something some time ago. Okay, Marzi, Gospel, please unmute yourself, please. Okay. So um what I was saying um was that um this question, I just want to, to either to arm me with it because I, I am parroting it. I had it from one of your brokers that, because the reason why I wanted to take this to home in order to use it as my driving force to get more people, convert them because they are coming. But when they come, you beat them, they come more. They, then you, they, they, they are, when they are convinced, they, you can see that they are, I'm getting people here in Belgium now. So let them hear it. People are leaving the old house and coming home because the, the truth is drive, being driven home. And this I, is what the, when, I, when I listened to your broadcast, I got that point. You made mention that uh, some time ago that uh, the legal bill of Mazi Onyendu, that we are footing it, that is the new government, that is uh, the, the, the Biafran government in exile, you are footing it, we are footing it. Can you drive that home so that I will also- The Biafra uh, government have taken full responsibility. Thank you very much. Please. Uh, I want everybody hearing here, those who are going to meet their friends in Belgium, which concerns me more. Please tell them that there is no rift between our prime minister. I am the disciple of our prime minister because I'm his prime minister. I am his uh, disciple and he's a disciple of Martin Nandikano. And the son and father is working together. So stop the causing division and by that trying to destroy what we are doing. Biafra is our focus. I am very serious. You can see my face when I'm talking. The whole verse comes out. That is who I am. This is indeed very serious. Like I can say, there is mystery in this Biafra struggle, and the leaders are mysterious too. Mazenam Bekano, very mysterious. This Simon Eba indeed mysterious okay we'll be on the watching side but do your quota make contributions let us obey commands let us obey the control so that we'll press the right button together